Hey, hey, how y'all doing? Happy, happy Tuesday. And my name is Jane Northrup. And in today's segment for pH Awareness Month, starting today and through the um, remainder of the month, most of my um, videos will be pertaining to the medication now. So um, I'm gonna talk about the conventional medical therapies um, used for the treatment of pulmonary hypertension. So the first one is calcium channel blockers or CCBs, and they help decrease the blood pressure. Um, this is a very small number of patients who this actually works for. And um, this is one of the tests that they do during the initial right heart cath. And I talked about it in my um, diagnosing video that I did on Thursday, I believe it was. And um, it's called a vasodilating test. And um, as I said, it's done in the initial right heart cath and Based on that, Nicole did not respond. So um, calcium channel blockers was not a therapy that she would have benefited from. The next one is digoxin, and this assists in the pumping of the heart. I don't know what the criteria is for um, that being prescribed to a patient, but that is what it is meant to do diuretics, and that would be Lasix. Um, this is used to move water weight off the body that is put in pressure on the heart. And that's um, also called ed um, edema. And it's where you have water weight gain in your abdomen. I think it's in your abdomen or your ankles um, will swell up. Uh, and then the next one is oxygen. So this is used by a large number of patients. Um, some only have to wear it at night while they're sleeping because while you're sleeping, your lungs, I guess, relax. And so um, others only have to use it while they're sleeping and maybe while they're exercising. Others, own, others need it all the time, like Nicole. Nicole has been on oxygen all the time basically since her diagnosis um, or not long after her diagnosis. I mean, she, the day she had a right heart cath is when she went on oxygen. And at that time it was only at night, but they said that if she wore it during the day, it would be beneficial for her. And since she was homeschooled and she didn't go to um, public school, this wasn't a problem for her. So the doctor is the one that will decide whether or not you need oxygen. Some patients don't need oxygen at all unless they fly. So, um, and most patients I think need oxygen when they fly anyway. So I could be wrong, but in my experience talking to patients, most of them will need oxygen while flying. Um, and then the last one is warfarin, which is also known as Coumadin. And this is used to thin the blood and prevents it from clotting. So there are the conventional medical therapies. Some patients may be on just a few of them. Some patients could be on a lot of them. For Nicole, Nicole is only on oxygen and in, um, Instead of blood thinners, Nicole just takes a baby aspirin four days a week, and that has worked well for her. So um, it's, it's up to the pH specialist to decide what, if any of those therapies, you should be on. So there is my pH awareness for today. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and until I see you next, God bless and take care.